some crazy kid 33 years from now like me, or whether it's some news reporter or someone going, how the hell did they run the best student-run Special Olympics event in the world during COVID-19 
amongst a transition period like none other, in circumstances where we were truly only primed to fail. Yet we overcame all obstacles, adapted with a smile, and as the John Wooden quote um, that I mentioned, uh, the John Wooden quote that I mentioned earlier on that, that Thursday meeting, you know, if we don't adapt, we will never progress, right? We adapted, the years past have adapted, and it's got us to this point. So, uh, you know, obviously, just absolutely spitting some bars right here and rambling. So uh, I'll wrap it up with uh, one last point. Um, Special Olympics does a lot of great things. It affects a lot of great people in a lot of great ways. And um, I'm always reminded of an analogy, uh, circling back to my favorite animal being a starfish. Um, and, you know, basically the story goes like this. Uh, there was a lunar tide, washed the 10,000 plus starfish onto a beach. And uh, there was an old man who got there at four in the morning, like we did today, uh, and was throwing the starfish back into the ocean one by one. And there was a little boy who ran out there chasing his dog. And uh, he saw the old man picking up the starfish and throwing them back in the water, because obviously the starfish stays on land, it dies. Um, and the little boy said, you know, what are you doing, old man? There's uh, 10,000 plus starfish. How are you ever gonna make that difference? And uh, the old man picks up one of the starfish and goes, and in that moment, he says, you know, to that one starfish, I made all that difference, right? And, you know, this weekend, yeah, we had 500 plus athletes, but to the one athlete, to the one family member that you gave a sense of relief to, a smile to, a moment that they will cherish for a lifetime, I mean, that's why we do it. That's why I'm gonna miss it here so much. As much as I love all of you, I know you'll, most of you will still be here next year, and for the people graduating, you'll come back too, because you're gonna have no life like me. But. I mean, that's what we're gonna miss because there's never gonna be an opportunity like this for any of us to do something so profound to such a level to impact so many people and to positively affect change in the way that we do. Um, so to everyone who helped me um, you know, do what I need to do in regards to this weekend and throughout the past nine months, really my sincerest thank yous um, and to everyone who continues this mission of inclusion, hell yeah baby, let's keep doing it.